Hey, Jeremy here. I'm with Brian from Holy Rollers. So we are, this is my mid-cruise update. We are on Royal Caribbean's private island, I guess. Yeah, co perfect day at Coco Cay. There you go, perfect day. And uh, day three, and so Brian was nice enough to um, give me one of his comped cruises. He says, hey, come play crafts with me, and then you'll win your own free cruises. And so that's what we're here to talk a little bit about today. And uh, so I'm gonna have kind of Brian take over and ask me some questions because my mind's a little bit blown here. I got like a lot going on. First cruise for you. Very first cruise ever for me. Yeah, so. yeah. And I've been a part of the, I think I, I just had my two year anniversary from the Color Up Club. Yeah, yeah. So Color Up Club. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I need to learn to play crafts a little bit better if I'm gonna be on these cruises. And I, so I learned a lot from you, uh, even before I was cruising, I learned how to play crafts from your channel, so thanks. But that's why, as being a member, uh, I think it was at like DiceCon one year, I was like, hey, we gotta go on a cruise, you know, yeah. let's do it. Because I've been doing this for, for a couple of years, so. Now you're, you've are you been cruising for free by playing crafts for a couple of years, right? Just yeah, so yeah. some background there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you have to pay taxes and port fees, but it's not totally free. But on my first one, I had a couple hundred dollars and got a free cruise that cost a couple hundred dollars. And I'm like, the first cruise cost a couple thousand dollars. So getting it for a couple hundred was like, wow, this is amazing. So uh, that's why I was like, and it's a different experience, which you've probably, you've probably realized, at least for me, I played craps in other places, but playing on a cruise versus land base, really, really unique experience. So how, what would you say as far as the difference on playing craps on a cruise versus playing in the land based? I, I was surprised how good the dealers were. Um, some of them are really trying. Like, like, there's one guy, he's sloppy, but he's fast. <laughs> um, and I mean, but most of them are really good. They, they learn your bets right away. They're just, I, I think um, the efforts there where like a lot of land based cruises, they're like, they're, they can't wait to get on breaks sometimes. I mean, obviously there's great dealers and not great dealers, but for the most part, like they've all been great dealers or at least trying to create a great, um, great experience. experience. Yeah. 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 I, I did, uh, well, you kind of went into it knowing that playing craps, as far as the odds, there are some different kind of rules, like the dice have to hit the back wall, like no exceptions, no warnings, you know, yeah. no roll, they say a lot, but but I think that freaks out of people, you know, when they first go, they're like, what do you mean no roll, you know, when it was the point. Yeah. But if it's the seven and they say no roll, they're like, oh, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, they, they were, it makes it fair. So I, th I guess the biggest difference would be the free odds. You know, it's, it's like seeing, at least on these line of Royal ships, Caribbean, Royal yeah. Caribbean, it's single odds, unless you get to $25 level. 50, and then yeah, double odds. It's like double $50 odds, so. level. But again, <laughs> we're playing for comp, so they don't count the free odds, so we don't care. We don't play any Yeah, odds, we don't really. play odds, um, which anybody that would play a come bet or, uh, you know, don't come or whatever and not put odds, it doesn't, normally it wouldn't make sense. But on a cruise, playing odds doesn't make sense, in my, in my opinion, yeah. you know, which is like the, a kind of a reverse game. So, that's where it's kind of different when you're playing because you're playing for comp value rather than just a bunch of money. Yeah. Well, let me, so let me back up and talk about a couple things. Like we're talking about free cruises. You did mention there's port fees and taxes. There are other costs. So um, there's travel to get there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's travel to get there and you know, whether that's airfare or renting a car or the hotel or um, you know, even simple things as Uber, the final leg, right? Uber or shuttle to the port. Yep. There are costs involved. Uh, they yeah, have gratuity the gratuities, built gratuities. in, so it's like $18 a day. I don't know if that you know, Yeah, it changes. varies, but yeah, right now it's a, if you just plan on 20 bucks a day, that's probably what it'll be. So they automatically charge it. You could tell them not to charge it and, you know, tip more if you want, yeah. or I think that's pretty fair because the nice thing about it, so what I, I mean, there are premium places to eat on the boat. Uh -huh. Like you can get nice dinners, but there's built in free, really nice dinners. And mm -hmm. then there's buffets and always something open that you can eat pizza parlors and different things. And you just go in, get your food. There's no cost. You don't tip anyone. You get your food and then you leave and it's yeah. just normal. Um, so that is worth $18 a day right there. It's <laughs> yeah, like probably. nothing because. And the shows as well. Yeah, the yeah. shows and stuff. So really everything really is free. 
um, but they always have options where you can upgrade um, yeah. just different dining experiences. And I'm not a drinker, uh, at least alcoholic, um, but they do have water and juices, um, like fruit punches uh, in the morning. They lemonade, have got coffee, tea, tea lemonade. Yeah. So all that stuff is no problem. Um, and then if you want alcohol, you just have to pay for or it. Or soda. Like if you want yeah, soda. Yeah, that's true. And Brian's, he's at a tier where he gets some free sodas. So I've, he's yeah. given me a couple sodas. But, you know, one a day for me is cool. Uh, I've been happy with juices and, wa and water, trying to drink a lot of water. So it really is like a, you know, a free experience. Uh, like an like all-inclusive yeah, resort all -inclusive, almost, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, so a that resort on really the water. Cool. <laughs> so let's talk about your... Uh, your experience playing craps on a cruise to earn a free cruise. Okay. So the way that works is you, you're playing time at the table for an average bet earns you points. And mm -hmm. so on exam, like an example or an average, it would be $50 average bet for one hour would get you 50 points. Mm -hmm. Most people, they do 44 inside. That's what they would get, 44, 50 points an hour. Mm -hmm. um, and that would take a lot of hours to get 1200 points which 1200 points is like the lowest place to get a free cruise you have a couple dates to choose from then you go to 1500 points and there's more dates to choose from 2000 more dates but you know you pretty much get a free cruise at 1200 points right. and if you did 44 inside or even 64 across because they're ten dollar tables most all of them are ten dollar tables so 64 across you're getting like 60 60 points an hour that that could take a long time. 20 hours. I mean, that could take a I don't long even know time. If, so the tables are, so the casinos are open a little bit longer, but the table games, it, it kind of varies a little bit, but they're not quite as open as much as the casino. Right. The casino will be open, but not the table games. And sometimes it's some table games, but not craps. Yeah. So, but so far on the cruise, it's been about six, seven o'clock they open and they run through the night, you know, till like midnight. So you do have, you could squeeze in six hours a night. Yeah. But, that's six There's hours still, straight. That's still three <laughs> nights of six hours straight is 18 hours, and you're still short of it at playing at, you know, your, your $40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's all about going up at a higher level. Mm -hmm. Higher level, higher risk, and that's mm -hmm. why we came up with our system that's kind of a hedging system, so we got more money on the table. Yeah. And so you've been trying that system. Yeah. And uh, what happened? I mean, I saw you writing some stuff down and on Yeah, it's on my track. phone that's recording, so I can't <laughs> pull up the exact numbers. But I, I, I remember it pretty well. Um, what I did uh, night one was play the system just as we described and just as I put out the video. I'll, I'll link it up here. But uh, essentially, $100 don't pass and then, you know, like 110 inside or basically $100 uh, to offset it in place bets. And, uh, and then try to be aggressive with that. Once a point is established, and be aggressive. And, uh, you know, I think once he told me I was being rated at about 250 points. So essentially, if I played for an hour, I got 250. So I think on night one, um, well, I did it in two sessions. My main session was two or three hours. Yeah. And he said, well, you, and I checked, you put, I can put my card in the machine and I had about 500 some points. Yeah. And then I slowed down cause I'm like, it was kind of risky. So I just slowed down and kind of did little like 10, I played a $10 level, right? Six and eight, maybe a come bet for another hour or so and picked up another hundred points or something like that. So, um, I think night one, I was at like 600 points or some something like that. That's halfway there after halfway one there, right, night. Right. Or no, well, I, no, I was in the 500 range because the second night almost I did Almost halfway there. Yeah, almost <laughs> halfway there. Night two, the same thing. I did, you know, two to three hours playing the light in the darkness at, at that 100, well, rated a little over 200 points. And um, man, eight I was at 800. And then I switched, I played low ball. And then I think I went back to it. I don't know. I forget what happened. Oh, we switched tables because there was a Surly dealer, which is only one out of everyone in the whole trip. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole nother Angry story. Angry dealer but, sometimes, yeah. I guess. But if you play land-based casinos, it's not, it wasn't That's, like very out of the ordinary, right. but for a cruise, it seemed out of the ordinary. Yeah, because they've yeah. all been so amazing yeah. uh, with their attitude and stuff. So anyway, we ended up switching tables. And uh, anyway, so bottom line is I am... Um, up fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars up. Well, that's color up, right there. That's, that is a color up, and my wife has been bleeding me out a little bit because she'll she, come over. She comes over and grabs green chips and exchanges them, and I don't know what she does. So I don't know exactly where I'm at, but 
you know, I'm pretty With close. I would say even. Factoring in the wife factor, yeah. you're still up $15. Yeah, I'm still up 15 <laughs> And I'm at 1100 and whatever. I think I'm short like 40 points to get my minimum crew. So. And that's after two nights. Yeah, I got two nights to go. And so I easily I can get at least the 1500 or maybe, is it 2500 is the next tier? Yeah, 2500 would be awesome if you can get 2500 because yeah. At 2,500, when you get 2,500, because it counts for the cruise, but it also adds up over the year. And a year is from April 1st to March 31st. Now we're in March right yeah. now. So if you get 2,500, it's actually gonna put you to a tier called Prime, and that's when you get free drinks in the casino okay. at Prime. Uh, your convenience fee is waived, because if you charge to your room at the table, it costs, it's a 5% charge. So that convenience fee is waived. You get a discount on the internet at prime level, you know, so it's very interesting because you work up your tier status in the casino, but also in the Crown and Anchor Society with Royal Caribbean. Yeah. So it's very, very interesting because you're building two tiers at once. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I for sure will have no problem hitting the 1500 level and get a lot more cruise options. Um, I actually looked, was looking on my phone. It's a great list. I'm like, uh, there was a 14 day to, um, did I, I told you earlier, where was it? It was, uh, uh, you had to fly in. It was overseas, right? Yeah. Oh it, no, it was it LA went. to Japan, Tokyo, <laughs> 14 days. And, um, it was, a you know, ocean view room. That, I've won that already. Yeah. Like, like if I wanted to, I can go LA, Tokyo, 14 day, just tax and port fees, which will be about, you know, so, 150 bucks or yeah so. yeah so for, yeah 150 bucks for 14 night cruise yeah. would be amazing right yeah can you imagine if you have 14 days how many points you'd get if you just played a little bit every night you oh, know yeah. i mean when you're on a four night we're on a four night cruise right now so you kind of have to go in and get that cruise as soon as possible it does feel like a little bit of a grind when you're there at midnight and still yeah just really but because i I wanted to get my points early in the cruise instead of i could have spread it out over four nights but i'm i'm essentially done Yep. And mm -hmm. the next two nights I could just piddle around, mm -hmm. but um, it just depends if I want to go for that 2,500 points. Or go that, for the so. 2,500. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes tonight. But um, yeah, uh, the system worked. The free cruise now, is basically now, done but, for. But even though how did it update. start though? Remember the first two or three rolls? Oh my god! The way so, it started? It, oh yeah, it was, so everything that could go wrong did. It was like <laughs> seven, which is, you know, all right. I lose 100, put the 100 back. And then a point established, and I did 110, and the point was hit, I think. Yeah, back-to-back -back points. So I lost 65 there because I didn't fully cover the point. All right, then same it, shooter coming out, and I think it was 11 or yeah, 7 yeah. again. Everything that could happen yeah. did happen. So right now then. I'm, I, I think I bought in for 600, and I'm down 265. I got another black chick. So if I lose that, I'm like that's out your, 365, and like, what am I going to do? I'm right. done. And that's happened to people. <laughs> that's happened to people, and it can happen, right? Um, but what happened is if you would have said, okay, it doesn't work, color up, I'm out of here, yeah. right? Or color down, right? Yeah, right, color down. <laughs> um, I, I think you wouldn't have had the chance to see what happens no. because then we had a couple twos and threes on yep. the come out. Um, then we had a couple long rolls. I mean, you had- Just a normal flow of the game yeah. brought me back. And so um, you just got to stick with it. And, you know, it is, it is a little tight there because, and the thing is, the strategy, if you had like a $2,000 bankroll or $3,000, it wouldn't be tight because the ebbs and flows are not a large percentage of your bankroll, but you don't really want to bring $3,000 to win a $1,200 cruise. It just doesn't make sense. So, yeah. uh, you know, bring $1,200 to win a $1,200 cruise, but then your percentage on the table is a lot greater. Yeah. But, you know, so it's a well, little- Well, I, I always tell people that you, you can't lose if you win a free cruise unless yeah. <laughs> you bring too much money, yeah. you know? Because if you did bring $2,000 and you lost everything, but you want a free cruise that's worth $2,000, you kind of just prepaid yeah. for your not next cruise. Not the end of the world, right? Yeah, it's not the end of the world. But if you're if you bring in 5,000 for a $2,000 cruise yeah. and you lost 5,000 and you got, I got, I got a free cruise. It's like, yeah, you prepaid and maybe gave some extra money to the And casino. if you lose that much, I mean, you're playing the wrong strategies. I mean, you're doing something different, so. Well, I think a lot of people probably lost that much uh, playing craps without watching your channel. You yeah. know, learning how to play craps is, uh, it costs money. A lot of people, you have to walk up to the table and you have to like play to learn, right? 
That is one thing that's different on the ship too. Sometimes in Vegas or other land-based casinos, they won't let you just stand right up at the table and lean on the table and watch the game to learn. Here, they do that. And sometimes it's kind of, you know, you have a lot of people not playing and they're standing around the table talking and pointing with their hands yeah, yeah. inside the table <laughs> when they're not even playing. <laughs> Once you get around that kind of stuff, you're like, hey, this is worth But again, it they stick their hand and they hit someone, they just call it no roll. So <laughs> yeah. it didn't yeah. hit the big That's back what, wall. So you had a great roll, by the way. Yeah. You actually, somebody did, you hit you hit them and they said, no roll, because because when the dice come to you, you just grab them and throw uh -huh. them, you know? And, um, but you had, so during DiceCon one year, I think you had like a 47 or something like that. Something. Uh, it yeah. was very high. I remember I wanted to get on that table, but it was packed with nothing but color up people. And I'm like, is there a spot? No, <laughs> there wasn't. And you had a 47 roll and everybody's cheering and I'm just over there just waiting for a spot, you know? But this one, I think you beat that. I think. Uh, I think easily. Oh man, you had. Talk I mean, about a we monster both roll. had beyond that. I had another good, probably thirty. Yeah. And I know you had at least thirty. Yeah, rolls yeah, too. it was it's very been crazy. Nice. But that's what is nice about the strategy. So even when I'm down, a big roll. This isn't like you're hedging all day and can't win any money, break even. Right. If you have a big roll, you can then make a lot of money. Just collect, which, collect, collect. Because right. then, if you do have that come out seven or eleven, you know, uh, you've already made it back. You know. So that's why I like to get to the place where I'm collecting black chips on every roll, because then, you know, I know I might lose a black chip on a come out at some yeah. point, you know, but. So uh, let's go ahead and talk a little, well, I don't know. I mean, I think we pretty much covered the crafts angle, but as far as the cruise part, um, man, I'm enjoying it. Like, well, <laughs> I know my wife is, because it's, you lounge around, you go eat whenever you want. Get some sun, right? Get some sun. Today we're out on the beach. Yesterday we went, walked around uh, Nassau, uh, Nassau, Nassau, Bahamas, yeah. the city. And, um, you know, it's, a, it's fine. <laughs> but um, just getting out a little bit. But, uh, I mean, on the ship is cool. There's a lot of stuff to do, which I haven't done. Like, I'm not going to zip line and, like, ride the surfboard and you stuff. You could. But it's not extra charge. Yeah, you no, could. It's if all you there. <laughs> Yeah, it's got every putt putt movie. It's just a bunch of stuff to do. Yeah, if you and we're on to. the Oasis class yeah. ship, so that's one of the biggest ships. There is the Icon, which is the the new class that's even bigger. But an Oasis class ship has two craps tables, mm. and it has a lot of activities on the ship. So you get if you get one of the other ships that are smaller, May not there's have. only one craps table. Then it might not have all like the zip line and all the different stuff, but uh, the activities, you know. So as I continue to do these color up cruises, and I don't know that I'll group as a, or do like a party grouping or anything, it'll probably be just like, hey, this is the date I'm going, join me, which you've had like six followers here. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know, um, I don't want to mention any names just for privacy, but I, one, I actually had one of my followers, he's like, hey, I'm actually on the same ship, and we met him, I met him last night, so that was funny. He said he was up 200, had like 750 points after night one, so he's in great shape for his. And he's free using cruise. the same strategy. Yeah, he said I stuck to it exclusively. The way you showed it. Yeah, the way wow. I showed it didn't veer from it at all. And uh, yeah, he's up 200, and he's all, more than halfway after one night for his well, free cruise. But, so, yeah. so I'd like to think about it like this when I think about the strategy and the cruising. My main focus is to just talk about the option to play craps on a cruise to earn a free cruise. I'm not saying you have to use this strategy, but and I'm not really trying to promote the strategy. I'm trying no, if you to promote... can come up with a better one. Yeah, it's just yeah, like you exactly. got to you got to have plenty of money. You can't play your normal uh, 44 inside and then um, you know press up. I mean, they will re-rate you as you press up a little bit, yeah. but you really got to put decent amount of money on the table to be rated right. good. Right. Right. And that's that's the thing cuz every strategy like will work until it doesn't right i mean and and sometimes you'll, sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't but uh but again i think after doing this so many times i found that you know it, it loses slow and it wins slow and i think that allows you to be at the table long enough to have that monster roll and once you get once you get the monster roll you attack it that's when you win your money and you could bleed it all back mm -hmm. you know i mean that's what happens on slot machines i mean most people because slot machines are $5 is one point. So to get 1,200 points or 1,500 points, you have to put $7,500 through the machine. Now, I say through the machine. It doesn't mean you need $7,500.
because some people bring 500 and they win and they lose. Maybe they win a jackpot and they put it all back and they get a free cruise, you know. Um, but if you want a jackpot, just take the money and pay for the <laughs> pay for a cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But a lot of people like slot machines because they can watch their points go up as they go. But I like I like craps because you could put your money out on the table, and the money stays there mm -hmm. and it's counted. Blackjack, roulette, it's all just one just bet, one roll, one and then turn, one, one outcome, yeah. and then one bet and one outcome. That's mm -hmm. why I like craps because. It, you could put your money out and have multiple outcomes. Yeah. You know, and it's it just stays up there. You got two hundred dollars out there, it, you know, for an hour. It, like, let's it say would just stay there. Even if you didn't collect any money, it would just stay there, and you would be rated right. For yep. Like yep. Points, exactly. So. And that's why you could do it after two. Yeah. After two. Uh, I did talk to uh, uh, one of your guys who uh, follows your channel and stuff, and so he said i mean he goes i've been cruising for 20 years right mm -hmm. and i just always paid it and i play crafts I, I love playing in the casino but i never like connected the two and he goes so i've been paying for cruises with my family for 15 whatever years wow and now i just do it play crafts and now they're free he said the only switch is i just paid attention to my points yeah because he takes the same money that he would pay for a cruise he uses yeah. that for his bankroll yeah yeah, yeah, exactly. So he's like, you know, for 15 years, I don't know what I was doing. I was just paying for cruises and now. <laughs> 15 years of paying yeah. for cruises. And he goes on multiple, they're cruising families. So yeah, it's like yeah, multiple yeah. cruises a year. So that's, you know, tens of thousands of dollars a year. And now he's like, yeah, now I just. Well, and he became a member of the channel. Yeah. So that's good because yeah. uh, hopefully I gave him some value. Yeah. <laughs> for the, for the, you know, not having to pay full price. Yeah, I guess again. on your, yeah, you, you teach him a system and. Uh, which is even like a two-person system or something. Well, I don't know yeah, if I can get into that, but well, I don't, yeah, don't want to get into it. But um, yeah, yeah, that's for the members only. Yeah, members but only his wife the, does yeah. it. Him and his wife, so they actually both win free cruises, yeah. and they could bring people just like Amber and myself won a free cruise and brought you and your wife. Yeah, you know? so it's worked out. And that's out probably cool. what you'll probably do if you can get. If I can get my wife to play, <laughs> I'm like, listen, we could take you know two of our kids or your mom and someone on a cr free cruise for them. well, you know, port fees, taxes, gratuity. I don't want to and travel there, right? But um, yeah. Uh, very minimal cost. And I'm like, you just got to play and we'll both have it. And then we'll have two rooms, four people, and we can invite some guests. And so I just got to look where I got to work on it a little bit. She's at 25 points right now on the slot. <laughs> so I don't I'm think it's happening. 25 points cost her. I'm <laughs> yeah. just playing. Yeah, I don't know. As many green chips as she stole in my pocket. But. Yeah. Well, you know, at the slot machines, I think it's safe to say, because uh, a lot of people say, I just get it slots. I just get it slots. And, you know, I said, talked about that that $7,500 for, you know, that you put through it. On average, with the payout, if it's 85% payout, if you don't hit a jackpot, and you just go with the regular flow, you know, you put in a dollar, you get 50 cents, you put in a dollar, you get a dollar, you know, so you kind of yeah. just going like that. Same thing happens at roulette, um, but it turns out to be about $1 per point. Like, and Amber does that, but, so if she gets 1,500 points, I know it's gonna cost Amber $1,500, but she has that chance of, the, of getting of the ham pay or yeah. the jackpot. And that's, I think, what people like, because yeah. you hit one jackpot in doing all that, you know, but for us, the jackpot is the monster roll. And we had right. two of them already this cruise, yeah. at least two of them, yeah. you know. But monster roll, you know, I'm winning five, $600, but then, yeah, you know the next shooter is seven, eleven. You know, right, right, and I right. give back three of it, and or three hundred. And of that's why rolls, you're, you're so. fifteen dollars up. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm fifteen dollars up. And you know, someone who they made a few announcements, a couple slot winners are like, oh, seven thousand, fourteen thousand. You know, but you know, that's just the nature of the game. So. Yep, yep, yep. All right, um, man, I really, this has been awesome that you invited me and let me use your one of your free cruise passes. Yeah, and uh, I'm just really enjoying it and I'm excited that I've essentially won it already. Um, I'll make another video explaining like, hey, did I win it? But uh, if you've watched my up, my mid cruise update, then you know that like I'm going, I'm essentially there already. So yeah, that's awesome. I'm excited that I've already essentially locked that up. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, but uh, it's been a good experience and, and I gotta thank you for that. So. Well, you know, I think the way that I can give back is not only being a part of the Color Up Club yeah, to support that. you, but this was another thing. It was like, hey, I've learned so much uh, and I wouldn't even have been able to learn all this without your channel. So this is another way that I can give back to the channel. Ah, I so appreciate thanks. that. Thanks. And yeah, definitely check out Holy Roller. I mean, that, all he does, this guy's on cruises constantly, <laughs> free cruises over and over again. And so he gets more in depth in covering all the tips, a huge tip. Lines can be huge for the free formal dining, which are really great menus 
great mm -hmm. dining, completely free, but you got to get on first thing on the ship and reserve like a time slot. Well, you can pick your time. Like, so it's called early, you can get early dining, yeah. late dining, or my time dining. Well, my time dining sounds great. You could go whenever you want, right? Yeah. That, go ahead. What were you going to say about so, it? So you reserve a time <laughs> slot. It's amazing. I walk past 500 people and go right to my table at my time slot. Because your table's already and ready. And all those people are just like waiting. I for an open how, table. I don't know how long it takes, an hour. To, I don't know what they're the just waiting is. for an open table. They're just waiting and the lines are huge. I'm like, if if I had to do that, I would not do, go on a cruise because I, I do I don't yeah, wait yeah. for food. Yeah. So it's a <laughs> that like that tip alone, like so watch his channel, find all the cruise tips because he's you know, he's finding out every in and out on yeah, every I, ship. Well I do tours <laughs> of the casino, yeah. I do tours of the ship, yeah. I do tours of the island yeah. or any ports. So when you're planning it, hopefully, I if I've been there, I have, I have a tour of it. Yeah, he's and got the tour of the info. The thing yeah. is, though, I did this for almost a year before I started the channel. So there are some ships that I've been on, but I haven't. I didn't get a tour. So, so you got to revisit them. Yeah, I have to. Re okay. I just have to. It's okay. part. <laughs> I just have to for for the viewers. I have to go on another cruise. <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, yeah. I don't think. I think we got everything covered. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think that's great. All right. Um, Thank you for watching and definitely check out his channel and man, join me becoming until they put a stop to this hedging, I guess. Well, I don't know. there used to be a part where it was 800 points for a free cruise and now it's 1200. Okay. So they're bumping Eight, up the points. Yeah. 800 was very easy, yeah. you know, but, but 1200 and 1500, that's the level right now. It yeah. might go up to 2000, but you're already there in two I know nights. we're going on yeah. and on, but I guess we didn't clarify this. So like at most casinos that I've experienced land base or Vegas, like if you have a hundred dollars on the boxes and a hundred don't if you're hedging they won't really rate you um right it, for it, both. they appear to be rating which is should be you're he, taking a huge risk they're rating us both ways so you're getting over 200 they, a lot of times when i ask it's like 250 you know because i increased my bets a little bit um so they are rating us fairly yeah. and good um obviously it, it's all going to vary there's so many variables and it's not per hour technically they do count the rolls but it's yeah. how it works out you can kind of rough estimate by hour but um yeah man yeah i don't i don't know what else to say except for it's been a good time and i've <laughs> essentially won i'm right there tonight just like i could just you know throw a hundred dollars on the table and probably get my yep my uh cruise but uh man I, yeah 2500 points i don't know we'll see <laughs> <laughs> i think you could do it all right thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys on a cruise in the future yeah all right, I, I, I like to say we hope to see you cruising and rolling on a craps table soon. Yeah, good luck on coloring up. <laughs> <laughs>